Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. This is another quote and I'll go straight into it. Philosophers have hitherto only interpreted the world in various ways. The point, however, is to change it. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see in the world by Gandhi. Gandhi said that. So most people quote, be the change you want to see in the world, which is good. Very good, a very important point. But I personally think the bit before that really says it all. It says philosophers have hitherto only interpreted the world in various ways. So you can look at all the ways that philosophers have interpreted the world. You can look at it all. Does it change anything? No. The point is, he says, however, is to change it. You can look at these wonderful philosophies and sit there in a dreamlike state, which is great. I'm not knocking that at all believe me but you be the change you want to, to see in the world and that is really the crux of it what kind of world do you want to live in do you want to live in a violent dog eat dog corrupted bad world well you, you've got it already you go go into live in a city and get, get into a job where you're battling with each other get into mergers and acquisitions get into the banking system get into any of these corporate systems and get high up and you're battling with each other it's competition, bang, it's come from the Darwinists, or the people, they've cherry-picked Darwinism and said to the world, no, this, this is a Bible of the fittest, we've got to battle with each other. Well, if you want that world, you've got it. If you want a world of love, peace, compassion, community, friendship, loyalty, integrity, boy, you've got to, you've got to work on that and change it. But you've got to be, be that change yourself. You can't look at everybody else and go, with a judgmental mind saying, well, they're not, they're not doing it, so why should I? How many times do you hear that? Well, everybody else is doing it, why shouldn't I do it? <laughs> because you are you, you are you, you don't have to do that. Why are you doing that? That's, that's crazy talk, crazy talk. Oh, look at that, I can't do that. Everybody else is doing it, so I might as well just muck in with it. No, 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 you start to build your integrity inside of you it's difficult to change i know it's very very difficult to change it's really difficult for me when i saw that my musical career as a gigging gigging live musician was starting to wane it was a very very hard time for me and i wrote an album and another album and they got released both of them and yet still the money was dwindling, the live performances were dwindling, so I had to change and, and move into other things. And that was a very, very difficult change for me, but that toughness really did wake me up more so than anything else in my life, even though the, the trauma, enormous trauma when I was younger, which had been very, very difficult to, to get myself over, I changed, I changed. Rather than being this pig-headed rock musician of no, I'm going to be a rock musician, that's it. Now I do many, many different things and I've gotten into things that I never dreamt that I'd be doing, like uh, focusing more on the depths of music, excuse me, depths of music, like the vibration of it and the tones and what the tones actually do to you, which, goes, which starts to walk into the realms of sound healing. Sound healing is phenomenal, by the way. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. And when I started to walk into that and realise that each part of the body has certain tones that it likes and certain tones that it doesn't like. For instance, you've got weapons now that can beam at you and just make you <laughs> just explode without no firing or anything. It's just a beaming, beaming a wave at you. So, and there's also tones that you can beam at someone to heal them. And that's a, a new new phenomenon that's going to come into healing. But that, that, that should not stop you from actually changing yourself to be more holistically healthy. That should be when, when things come in that are unstoppable. Some things are unstoppable. Most, most things are avoidable by looking after yourself, changing yourself, changing yourself to be the change that you want to be, i.e. eating good food. Veganism is a, is a fantastic step forward. Even if you just move away from fast foods, move away from too much meat. It's, you're moving in the right direction, but veganism, I feel, is, is the way forward. If you can really sort your diet out, really know when you're eating something, you know what you're eating. Like if you're eating buckwheat, bulgur wheat, you're eating 
vegetables, lots and lots of vegetables. The reason it has so many different colors is because they have different attributes to them, which have different reactions in the body, which help us to heal. Food is your medicine. It's your medicine. And once you make the change into realizing that, you make the change into moving yourself into that better world that we're talking about. Be in your circle, be the love that you want to be. Be the love, i.e. My mentor master said this to me when I was training in Body and Brain in Epsom. She said, I would take care of this the way I would take care of something for myself. I'll say that again. <laughs> I will take care of this, she was doing a bit of business for me, the way that I would take care of it for myself. So some people don't even love themselves, so they don't do anything any properly. But if you start to take care of yourself and then you spread that to other people, in a service, just imagine doing that. And imagine being in a room full of people doing that. That would be incredible. And the energy lifts and rises and you feel safe and happy and you feel you can actually express yourself in the way that you were meant to express yourself. Not with peers looking at you going, you can't say that, you can't say that. It's not in the book, it's not in the book, you can't say that which is what I had all the way through my life. You can't say that when you question something that's not in the book. <laughs> question something that's not in the book. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh goodness, do you get people... <gasps> I say it. As long as it's not harming or hurting anybody or anybody else's property, just say it. Say what you feel and then you will realise from the reactions of other people actually what kind of path you're on and what vibration you have with other people whether you're saying things that are resonating with other people or saying things that are actually driving them away some people you may need to avoid obviously because they're going to be on lower vibrations but other people if you're driving away people with higher vibrations whoa, you need to be the change you want to see in the world because if you want to be around people with higher vibrations you need to be a higher vibration you need to change yourself, change yourself. So the best way of doing that really, everybody's saying it, is meditation, or you can do Qigong, yoga, any form of mindfulness. I, I love Qigong personally because it does everything. It stretches my body out, stretches out my meridians, it wakes up my energy system, my chakra system. It's breathing, deep breathing. So I keep, and the one we practice, body and brain, it, it keeps your gut healthy. Gut is the most important thing. Your enteric nervous system, once you study your enteric nervous system, you realize when your enteric nervous system goes down, which is all around your gut, it doesn't work, you're dead. You can't be revived. There's no way of reviving you. But if your brain goes down, that can keep your body alive. That's how important your enteric nervous system is. And if you keep putting bad food in there, too much drinking, too much smoking, all the bad stuff, then it starts to wane in health. Wane in health. See, so many people with little pot bellies now because of all the stuff that they're eating. And especially like some of these fast food restaurants, we see people with strange anomalies in their body. That's because it doesn't know where to put the fat, so it just chucks it wherever it can. And some bodies react differently to others. It's not a good thing, not a good thing. You wanna keep your body fresh and vibrant. So eating good food, keeping this area, the enteric nervous system, your gut healthy, that's another fantastic change. And clear, clear all the mainstream media garbage out of your life, all the stuff you've learned. Unlearn it, relearn it through yourself. Relearn it. It's easy to learn. Once you resonate with something, you can learn and learn and learn. It's like a brilliant dancer doesn't want to be an architect or a mathematician. A brilliant dancer wants to dance. There's many stories now that are coming out where dancers can't get on at school but once you put them in a dance hall they they love it same with musicians they can't sit there and study maths even though music is maths they can't but they once you give them an instrument or get them into a band they love it yes you've got to be be in a band be a dancer get your passion feel find your passion and be the change you want to be in the world and then you can live a more in tune life with what the energies of the planet are changing into. We all want, and we all want it for you, we all want it for me, we want it for everybody, and this new community that's rising up 
I'm going to get rid of all this rubbish that's around us now. Be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So, hang me down.